Hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today's video we've got an unboxing and review. So I'm going to be unboxing it, we're going to be checking it out. And then I'm going to do uh, a following up video, um, probably about a few days afterwards, just to give my basic final thoughts on this piece. Because this is um, going to be one of them pieces where I'm probably going to be impressed the first time looking at it, but then I'm going to be impressed afterwards after a few days because this is pretty expensive for the size that it is it's not a figure it is the um, American Werewolf in London sign what's in the actual um, outside the pub which um, says the um, slotted lamb it says on it so that's what this is but it's not very big so as I said um, I think I'm going to be happy with it in this video but Am I going to be happy with it in within about a week's time? Again, I don't know because it is a, like um, it's an expensive piece, like I said, for the size that it is. So we're going to get it up and see what we think anyway. So let's get into it. Right, so I purchased this from Mad About Horror. It is originally. Um, I think it's Factory Entertainment what I make it. So it did get delayed this as well. It got delayed by I think it got delayed by just over a month on this one. bits of paperwork out that you get with it just the invoice and everything okay. put them down there so you can see it's got all the old styrofoam in there packaging is done very nicely you have these little foam bins on the corners so the box is not going to get damaged and that is about it so that is the box so you can see the actual pub sign there the slotted lamb and the box everything looks nice and you see the back of it as well Take all this shit off. So this is a piece what <clears throat> I don't know what to do. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I don't need to um, I don't need to actually hang it up or actually just leave it in the box, which I don't usually do that. Um I don't know if I'm gonna bother hanging it up this year though, I might just leave it till next year because we're getting towards the end of the year and I start taking everything out towards the end of the year so that's so you can see the box again so the box art looks very nice obviously it's just got the picture of the actual product itself and the sides and you can see the back there so I think be careful this because obviously it's um it's actually made with real wood and got metal features and stuff on it and I think it's just like the clips and stuff where the sign actually clips on okay So this is how it looks, so you can see that it's not very big at all and this cost me £105 so um, it is real wood um, I thought this middle bit the actual sign itself would be metal but it's not it's just these bits what are metal we'll bring the camera in anywhere closer so you can get a better look at it Right, so now we can get a better look at it. 
So all this bit here, all around here is actual wood and the front of it will be actual wood and it's just um, been printed on. Um, it's, it's thin wood up here though so you can it feels like you could easily just snap that. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I, um, I'm not happy with it at all. I think it's um, it's not the size what's bothering me. It's it's I think it's the actual quality. Let's get that out of the way. It's the quality of it. I don't think it's up there at all um, for the price that I've paid. Um, obviously, this is on Mad About Horrors website now. Still, it's hundred and five pound or hundred and six pound, something like that. And I can tell you right now, um, it's definitely not worth that. Not at all. Um, I I recommend not getting this at all. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with it overall. I'm pretty, pretty disappointed. It just looks, I mean, from a distance, yeah. You'd say, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And you'd, do you know what I mean? You'd, you'd, anybody who's a fan of, obviously, American Werewolf in London, which I am a fan of it, um, you're going to look at it and go, wow, that looks cool, that. But then you get closer to it and you can see that literally the image they've used is um, it's just a printed image. It's like a sticker, basically. They've just stuck a, a picture onto the wood and you can see it's not even there and done very good because you can see there's a gap there and it's just not flush and then it goes um there's less of a gap there on that side. And it's pretty dull as well, the actual image. It's very dull. Um, it should be more... It should pop more, I think. This this could be accurate to the movie. It probably is accurate to the movie. And that's how it looks, because obviously it's a, it's a pub's arm. It's outside. Obviously, it's being weathered and everything from the... From obviously, for it being outside. So, obviously, the image of it would be... Um, it would be dulled down on it. It wouldn't pop as much as it, it should. But, I mean, it should pop, though, shouldn't it? I mean, it should pop for the people who purchase this. I know they want to make it accurate, but still. I mean, it's not accurate, really, is at the end of the day. Because I think this should have been... It should have been a metal sign in the middle here. And not just, like, a printed image. I mean, you can see here, there, you can see where it's not even completely flush. And then it goes up there which looks all good, good, and then it just is a bit like missing there. Yeah, um, I'm definitely disappointed with it. Definitely, I'm not going to do a follow-up video of this. I was going to do a follow-up video, because I thought I was going to be actually blown away uh, when I first opened it, and then I thought I'll let it sink in for a few days and then do a follow-up video, because... Some pieces are like that where you get it because you're excited to get something new and you think, wow, this is this is awesome. And then after a few days looking at it, you think, mm, it's not that good. Um, this one straight out of the package is definitely not that good. <laughs> it's definitely not worth the price at all. Um, I think this is more, should be priced at £50. So half the price that I paid for it. I could understand they've used real wood, which is good. And you got a little... And these are actual metal brackets, but it lets it down with the actual main feature is the actual sign itself. It really does let it down. All I'm looking at all the time is underneath here where you can see the sticker's not completely flush. Um, it feels like it's already bubbling up as well. Wow, this is very disappointing. Very disappointing. As I said, this is made by Factory Entertainment. It'd be the last thing I buy from Factory Entertainment. So I definitely do not recommend it. You can see there's a little, uh, there's a finny there so you can actually add it up on the wall. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably use it, but I don't know if I'm going to bother putting it up again, like I said, this year. But it's definitely disappointing i mean this should have been like i said i keep going on but this should have been like a metal sound so this would all popped more than it is at the moment because it is literally just a sticker 
They've just put a sticker over it. The more I look at it, the more it's annoying me. That is really disappointing. Yeah, that is very disappointing. So tell me what you think. Um, I definitely do not recommend it, like I keep saying. It's definitely not worth the price. If it was £50, I would have said, yeah, definitely worth it. Even if it was 60 I would have said it was worth it. For 105 quid, <laughs> it's definitely not worth it. The size is not an issue. It's not bothering me the size of it. It's bothering me the fact that 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 is just basically a sticker that's stuck on there and they don't even stuck it on very good. So yeah, let me know what you think anyway. Leave comments down below on this video. Subscribe for me if you're not subscribed. Hit the like as well for us. Tell me if you've purchased this or you've got this coming in your collection or tell me you've already say if you've got it and you're happy with it, let us know. Tell me um if I'm I'm just think if tell me if you think I'm wrong about it, but I really do think it's very disappointing and it's definitely not worth the price. So for now it's gonna go back in the box and and then it'll probably stay in the box until next year and then maybe I might put it up. But at the moment, I don't want to put it up at all. I just want to put it back in the box and just put it away because <laughs> it's annoyed me. But we'll leave it now anyway. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.